Hey, hello there, fellas. Welcome back to the Joe Nerd's Toy Room. Here with a very, very special, uh, different, very, also very different video for me on my channel here. Um, I'm approaching, already, I'm approaching a uh, hundred subscribers, so that is really, really amazing, considering it hasn't even been a year yet since my, uh, my YouTube channel has been uh, having videos to view. So, I tell you, uh, my thanks to all of you who have subscribed to me, and uh, this is a video for a, sp a special thanks to one of my subscribers uh, from the UK, uh, Luke, or Action Jackman, as most of you know him. Uh, he, he is an amazingly, amazingly generous guy. Um, he private messaged me, asked me like if I had ever seen or heard of this book before and uh, you know we, we talked about it briefly and he said hey uh, I've, got, I've got a few extra copies of it and I'd be happy to send one to you and man I tell you generosity, generosity for sure. So anyway what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna crack this thing open. I have not yet opened it out of its uh, out of its sealed bag and then I'm gonna take a look at it and uh, give you all my first impressions. Uh, Action Jackman was a little curious to see you know what I would think of it having it in hand in person so I'm gonna, gonna do that right now so flip it over and this is interesting uh, before I do this you'll notice this blank sheet of uh, card here in the back this is actually a numbered this is number 31 of 50. This is a art print, as I'm told. So, uh, Luke Action Jackman is curious as well to see exactly which one uh, I end up getting. So what I'm gonna do, and I'm really curious too, I've been really looking forward to this. So, we're gonna gently cut this free. And uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to this book too, to be able to read this. This is like the ultimate companion for the, for the series, for the Filmation series. So first of all, let's slide out the art print to see exactly what it is I am looking at. Ooh, it's a concept art. This is really interesting. Wow. Ratlore's concept illustrated by Bruce Tim 1984 colored by James E. Tuck 2012. Man, that is amazing. Filmation Ratlore's concept. Wow. That is awesome. I had no idea it was going to be like this. Oh man, this is even better than I was thinking it would be. I just assumed it would be like a painting of some sort, which would have been fine, but this I like even more. This is downright awesome. Wow, man. Thanks so much, Action Jackman. Man, that's amazing. So anyway, let's just gently move that off to the side. And now let's unbag the book itself. Wow, yeah, that is awesome. Okay, so now we're looking at the book itself. My impressions of it, it's really nice. For an independently printed book, it screams quality, you know? Uh, the, the cover is a very nice, hard, glossy, very nice, um, I should say, thick thick card with a nice glossy finish. Really, really, really eye-catching. The Unofficial Cartoon Guide of He-Man and the Masters of the Universe by James E. Talk. And there's the spine. Oh, that would look really good on the bookshelf. So anyway, let's take a look in it. Wow, and you know, the pages too. I should, uh, I should note, the pages, even the paper, has a really nice high quality it's uh, yeah. It's not. It's not like a newsprint. It's more like a. It's very much like a magazine uh, type stock paper that's used. 
Man, season one, season two. Damn. Okay, I want to read a little bit of this. I was looking forward to... Okay, here we go. We've got Diamond Ray of Disappearance. Man. Okay, but I would assume... Okay, they're, they're doing it in that order. I wasn't sure if it would be Diamond Ray of Disappearance first, or the or there's another episode the let me see here the cosmic comet i believe it would have been hmm interesting i'm gonna have to take a look at it really not very familiar with how this is laid out but oh this is wicked the she demon of phantos one of my all-time favorite episodes i love this damn episode so let me see here oh yeah cast battle cat cringer he-man lizard man Man-at-Arms, Merman, Oracle, Prince Adam, Queen Almora, Skeletor, Sorceress, Stratos, Strongarm, <laughs> Tila, and Zor. Um, yeah, I won't lie. One of the reasons why I love this episode, uh, this episode in particular, is it is the one and only appearance of Strongarm. I love that. A really obscure, really uh, cool, uh, seldom seen uh, Skeletor evil warrior um let's see here deleted scenes same as memorable quotes power of he-man review little review Ooh, three out of ten ouch man oh man james come on now man huh i would have been i don't know that'll be really interesting to read um for me to read why he gives it a three out of ten interesting. Although Skeletor is written perfectly in this episode, almost every other character is not. Hmm. The biggest offender by far is He-Man, who is not only given some awful dialogue, <laughs> but on numerous occasions uses his muscle instead of his mind to solve problems. Yeah, okay. Even the sorceress seems aloof in her giving of information. The premise is good, but the way in which the action is staged borders on the ridiculous. Things happen during the course of the episode that make little sense. He-Man is trapped in Photanium body cell. I did think about this before. At which point the villains leave the cell, leave to tell Skeletor, promoting, prompting He-Man to escape. This is not one of... This is just one of many examples of how this episode fails to deliver... Yeah, you know, in all fairness, I, I can, yeah, I can see that. <laughs> Interesting how we all have such passion for these uh, episodes, but we're, we all, you know, that, that's kind of what makes it interesting is we all, you know, it would be, you know, let me say this, it would be pretty boring if we all agreed all the time. Here we've got the Song of Solis. I really like this episode. Anyway, man. Yeah, this is uh, downright awesome. You can see the back of it here. Yeah, so again, my thanks. Uh, really, really big, big thanks to Action Jackman for sending me this beautiful, uh, really, really beautiful book that uh, I am going to really take care of and really um, get a lot of usage out of, get a lot of reads out of. So, yeah, that, that about does it. So, uh, for all of you for watching, uh, thanks everybody for watching this uh, little review of the unofficial He-Man and the Masters of the Universe cartoon guide. So, hope you all enjoyed everybody, and thanks for watching. And I will talk to you all again very soon in the very, very near future. Bye for now.